Hi guys, Lynn here, back with another Starfield Guide video. Today we have all 12 unique armor sets, some of which are missable, including the game's best armor, the Nishina armor, to find. But we are going over how to get all 12 sets with a total of 40 pieces, but you get the spacesuit, helmet and packs all in one go. Let's start, and I'll do these in order from worst to best armor rating. The first and easiest to get is the Constellation Armor. You actually get this twice from the main story, one for joining Constellation, but you also get a slightly improved version of the armor again as a reward for completing the main story missions later in the game. I can't really show you it as it's disappearing from my inventory a lot, but it's identical looking to the Mark 1 armor you can find in the Lodge basement. This one is often considered unique, but is shown to be found as loot, so despite being rare, it is not unique. The Tardigrade Monster Costume is a quest reward, Begin the Tourist Go Home mission by talking to Dr. Juliana Lucata in New Homestead on Titan, and she'll give you the unique tardigrade monster costume. You can then use this to scare away tourists on the surface. You wait 24 hours and you can do it again, and then a third time she will give you the tardigrade costume as a reward, and it is considered a spacesuit. The SY920 pilot armor is found during the best there is Crimson Fleet faction mission. You need to steal an experimental spacecraft, and to do this you need to disguise yourself as a test pilot. That means you need to steal the SY920 armor set, and since it's part of the mission, you cannot miss this one, so just play through the Crimson Fleet mission and you'll get it no problem. The Ranger armor set is easy to get, but takes a little while as it's earned by completing the entire Freestar Ranger questline and becoming a full-fledged Freestar Ranger. To start this, play through the main story mission, The Empty Nest, where you'll travel to Aquila City with Sam Co, and you must help de-escalate a bank heist. Then you can start the Freestar side quest by talking with Emma Wilcox at The Rock. There are about 10 missions altogether, and you will eventually become a Freestar Ranger, and you'll be rewarded with the armor. Grand Grand's armor is a set given if the player chooses the Kid Stuff trait. After a while, your parents will talk with you, and they'll give you Sir Livingston's pistol, and after a little while longer, they will talk with you again and give you Grand Grand's armor set. But it's the spacesuit and helmet only, there is no pack for this one, but inside your parents' house you can find a unique pack called Old Childhood Backpack, which you can take if you want it. The UC Vanguard spacesuit is easy to get, all you must do is join the UC Vanguard by talking to the guy in the mass building. After that you complete your training, and then when you get your first UC Vanguard mission called grunt work, you'll be given the UC Vanguard armor at the very start before you head out. The UC Anti-Xeno spacesuit is found during the UC faction mission Hostile Intelligence, and before you head into Londinium you will get an optional side quest to head to the armory, and here you can pick up your unique armor set. I picked this up at the time, but it is possible you can't return here and is missable, so make sure you do this before doing the mission. You can obtain all three components of the Mantis armor set by doing the Mantis mission that is located in a secret base in the Denebola 1B. Clear out the spacers and obtain the Mantis spacesuit from a display case along with the unique Mantis ship. All you must do is loot a secret slate from a spacer, and usually you will get one while doing some of the early main missions, however this is not missable and you can loot the slate from any spacer who you come across in the galaxy. Then all you do is read the slate and the mission will begin. One of the game's better armor sets is the Mercury spacesuit. Very easy to find, just play the main campaign until it takes you to Earth, and you head inside one of the NASA buildings. While heading underground you will come across the NASA museum, and the Mercury spacesuit is on display, and you can find another one just to the left inside of a mannequin case, which you can take for yourself. To get the game's second best unique armor, the Peacemaker set, you must complete the Peacemaker questline. This is started when you travel to the Elios Retreat in the Ixostar system, and here a member of the Retreat has gone missing and it's up to you to find them. All you need to do is complete the four quests, where you find who kidnapped the guy, and then you also need to travel to Aquila City at the end to talk with the Retreat's biggest donor and give the Retreat a good review, at which point you'll be rewarded with the Peacemaker armor set and weapon as a reward. To get the best armor set in Starfield you must save the people of Nishina, a place you go to during the main story to find an artifact. 
Inside, you're constantly switching between two different realities. The regular one has a bunch of people living inside, and there is a ruined version with someone called Raphael. Basically, you need to get the artifact at the end of the mission and turn it off, but in doing so will result in one of the universes being permanently destroyed. So it's up to you which one you want to save. However, if you manage to match the two universes' frequencies using the computer, you can save both and are rewarded with unique and best experimental Nishina spacesuit and helmet. And again, unfortunately, there is no pack with this one, but the spacesuit and helmet themselves are the best ones you can get. Lastly then, you can also get another armor set, the Starborn armor, when you complete the game, and there are a total of 10 of them to collect. You will be rewarded a new looking and better stats Starborn armor every time you enter into New Game Plus, all the way up to New Game Plus 10. But that is it for this video guys, how to get every unique armor set in Starfield. I can subscribe for more Starfield guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.